transgendered individuals will no longer be able to enlist in the military. <gasps> Let's talk about it. My name is Candace Owens, and you're watching my vlog series, Myth of the Coon. So let's peel back the layers of this onion foremost. What does being L, B, or G have anything to do with being T? Ready? Circle the sentence that doesn't belong. A. I like cats. B. I like dogs. C. I like both cats and dogs. D. I think like a cat, but I look like a dog. The answer obviously is D. No disrespect to the transgender community, but forcing people that are lesbian, gay, or bisexual, which is really just a preference in terms of who you like, has absolutely nothing to do with a disorder between your physical and mental, which is quite literally what being transgender means, right? Your mental and your physical is out of order. The issues that those communities face have absolutely nothing to do with one another. It's just liberals trying to create this process of groupthink, trying to tell gays and lesbians and bisexual people that if they don't stand up and defend something that has absolutely nothing to do with them, they are somehow risking their own community's rights. Could not be more bullshit. Regarding Donald Trump's announcement, I agree transitioning individuals should not be in the army. The army is quite literally a group of individuals that needs to be completely focused on the missions that are ahead of them. I cannot think of anybody's emotional capabilities that are more unstable than somebody that is transitioning from a male to a female. Am I the only person that watched I Am Kate? The military is not really a camp that you go to to figure out who you are. I also completely disagree with the idea that people should be allowed to go to the military to have their medical expenses covered, most especially when those medical expenses are as heavy as those that are absorbed by a transitioning male or female. They have therapy that they must complete before they're even allowed gender assignment. Then there's obviously the actual surgery that takes place. I think it's a slippery slope. I think once one person figures out that you can join the military for a couple of years and someone will pay for your entire surgery, then a big group of people will soon follow. And at some point, taxpayers will quite literally be paying for people to go to the military like it's a camp that you go to to transition. I 1,010% support the transgender community, but not in this capacity. Forget whether or not somebody identifies as male or female. To enlist in the army period, they do a very tough screening of your physical capabilities. You cannot enlist in the army if you are disabled and there is reason for that. They are trying to put a stop to people just enlisting to get their disabilities paid for. And I'm not saying by any means that being transgender is a disability, but I am saying that it does absorb high medical costs. That said, I think if somebody has fully transitioned, I have absolutely no issue with them joining the army. It's that in-between process that makes me a little bit uncomfortable, most especially just think about the ripple effect within the barracks. If you are a male and you are a female, it's very easy to say, you sleep here, you sleep there. You know, these are sort of your teammates. If we're talking about you're a male, but you think you're a female. You're a female, and you think that you're a male. Where do you sleep? How does it affect someone who's sleeping next to you or showering next to you? By the way, a huge argument that I see being circled around is about human rights. You should know that in the military, they don't have rights. They are told when they have to wake up, when they have to go to bed, what they have to eat, how much they are allowed to eat. The military is not parade. It's a very structured and focused environment, and that is for a reason. This is one issue that liberals need to pull back on. This is about the defense of our country. One argument that I saw being circulated on Facebook was, hey, we pay a lot for our military. We spent over a billion dollars on a ship. Yeah, because that ship is literally going to go out and defend us. How do you even correlate these two ideas? People in the army serve us, not the other way around. I, again, just wanna stress, I completely 100% support the transgender community. I do think that it is something that people feel inside of them that is real. That said, I draw a pretty thick line in the sand when it comes to whether or not my tax dollars should go to supporting them. To put it mildly, if you wouldn't support me getting a boob job in the military because I think I'm Pamela Anderson, if you wouldn't support Rachel 
Dolezal getting her skin color tinted because she thinks she's African American, then you should not support our tax dollars going to individuals that think they are male but identify as female or vice versa. Sorry if anybody was offended watching this video. I don't think I am for the faint of heart. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next week.